Well, a closer look now at the amazing sight in the middle of California's drought. We first showed you the so-called shade balls yesterday. John Blackstone learned how they could help the state bounce back from its water emergency. With lots of concern these days about plastic waste polluting water, it was surprising to see tens of thousands of plastic balls dumped intentionally into the biggest reservoir in Los Angeles, all in the name of combating California's drought. How does floating a bunch of black balls save water? Well, it, it forms a, a barrier on here, and uh, it's a pretty tight weave, and it just kind of keeps the sunlight off it so the, the evaporation can't occur at all. The balls poured in this week were the last of 96 million balls, completing an evaporation barrier on the reservoir. It will save about 300 million gallons of water a year. That's enough water for 2,700 average homes in Los Angeles. The balls cost 36 cents each. Covering this reservoir cost almost $35 million. But a roof would have cost $250 million. And by blocking the sun, the balls do more than stop evaporation. Sunlight can turn water toxic. Sunlight uh, can mix uh, with the natural organics there, can grow algae. It can form what's called disinfection byproducts, which are toxic. Looks pretty solid out there. I can't walk out there, can I? <laughs> you can't. It's, it's pretty intriguing, though. If you look close enough or long enough, you can kind of see the balls moving. It's, it's really kind of uh, motion art out there, if you will. And uh, it's, you know, it's kind of beguiling just looking at it. So it's a, it's a work of art. It, <laughs> it is. There's a lot of unintended benefits here. One more benefit. It reminds Californians that water conservation efforts just have to keep rolling along. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Silmar, California.